Hello everyone, we are back with coverage of the Rally Sport Association's NI Winter Series Round 2 here at Shackleton. And the paddock is completely rammed, and what a lineup we have for you today. Some might say that lately he is the king of Shackleton. Yes, it's Aaron McLaughlin, who has opted for his recently acquired Polo R5, which has just been converted to right-hand drive. Multiple Northern Irish and Irish Tarmac Rally Champion Derek McGarry is here with son Michael in a Skoda Fabia R5. KG Motorsport boys are here, with Kieran and Callum. And the 2023 Irish Tarmac Champions car is here, but with another champion behind the wheel, the 2004 Production World Rally Champion Niall McShea shares the car with Team Divine Mechanic Oren Mullen. There's a fantastic variety of cars throughout the entry today, from historics to modifieds and even two very fresh Rally 4 cars. Watch out for those! So here we go, six tricky damp stages lie ahead, so let's see who comes out on top. And going top of the time sheets over the opener is the 8th time Northern Ireland Rally Champion Derek McGarity. The Luke Nobby man blasts his way through the standing water to set a time 3.1 seconds quicker than the rest. And some of our eagle eyed viewers might notice that this car still bears its Italian flag and reg plate and it has some pedigree with drivers like Robert Consani, Paolo Diana and Gian Domenico Basso having steered it. But the McGarities are the men making new waves with it today, as Michael is his father's closest rival over SS1. And it really is game on here, as the two Polo R5s of Aaron McLaughlin and Nal McShea are tied on time to share third place just 0.2 of a second off Michael McGarity and 3.3 off Derek. Paul Flanagan is a relative newcomer to the R5 game, and if I recall right, this is only his third outing in the car. Paul will surely be chuffed to be mixing it with such rallying royalty in fifth place. Fresh off the back of the Donegal Harvest Rally and the WRC Central European Rally, Connor Wilson should be well used to nasty conditions like here today, and it shows as he sets fastest two wheel drive time and completes our top six. Kieran Graffin gets off to a steady start over the opener with 7th fastest time, but for reasons unknown to us, won't start SS2. 
Son Callum is just half a second further back in eighth in the new 208 Rally 4. And here's yet another family of furs, Camillus Bradley is top mark 2 in ninth. With Josh Bradley completing our top 10. By the time we reach stage 4 it's all changed as Derek McGarity has problems on SS2 and Nal McShay on SS3. They're both still going, but it's Aaron McLaughlin who finds himself as leader after 4 tests. Michael McGarity is still holding on to that second place, but he's now 20 seconds behind McLaughlin. And 
look who's in third. This is very encouraging for Paul Flanagan, but he must keep focused and keep the push on. And here's yet another sterling performance, cross-cart man Oren Mullen sets third fastest stage time here on his first day in an R5 car. Scrabbling for grip and traction is Connor Wilson and he's on a mission as he's just 1.3 seconds behind Mullen in the polo ahead. What a superb wee car these are. Mark II stalwart Camillus Bradley is showing his years of experience at the controls as he's into the top six now and leads class nine. Three seconds further back, John Bradley has a two litre escort up to seventh. And it's the other Rally 4 car in 8th with Calm Graffin at the wheel of the stunning Peugeot Sport 208. The Class 10 leader Kevin Wilson is 9th in the Trusty Evo 9. And 54 seconds off our leader Josh Bradley still refuses to give up that final top 10 spot.
Well, the weather mightn't have been too hot, but thankfully the action certainly was. So let's have a look at how the final results played out. And starting in the juniors, in third place goes to Sam Gorman. Things are on the up for Oshin McShane in second. But well, once again, it's Reese McElhenney who takes the win in the juniors. Last two, and Shane Gibson has a great day out to finish third. Ed Davis has to settle for second. And it's great to see the McMullen brothers back, and Greg takes the class win. On to class three, and Andrew Black's Micra takes third. Auto test ace Mark Faulkner takes second. But it was Jordan Hone who put on a spectacular drive to take the class three win. On to class four, and it's the 106 of Nathan McGuigan who takes third. David Nesbitt has a good run to second in the mini. And Danny Reid takes yet another class four victory. Class five, Enda McBride survives a fight with a Beal on stage four to take third. Beautiful wee two away of Calm Graffin comes home in second. But it's Connor Wilson who wins the class by 10.1 seconds. Class six and Hugh Watson takes third place. It's a superb drive for Janice McGee in second. But Josh Bradley had it all wrapped up in class six. Class seven, Paul McKenna splashes his way round to third. Joe Haggerty has to settle for second. And it's another Bradley at the top of this class. John takes the spoils in class seven. On to class nine, and it's a great first day out in the new car for Mark Graham in third. Adrian Grant ends the day second in class nine. But the Bradleys are taking all the trophies home as Camillus wins class nine. In class ten, it's all about the Evos as Cormac McIlvaney takes third place. It's a great drive from Ben McFall, he takes second. And just 3.8 seconds up the road, Kevin Wilson secures the class 10 win. On to the R5s and Derek McGarity bounces back with a drop stage time to take third. Aaron McLaughlin gets pipped at the post to take second. And Nal McShea is also a beneficiary of the drop stage time as he takes the class 11 victory. And that's also how our overall podium played out as Derek McGarity takes third from Aaron McLaughlin and Fermanagh's very own Stig Nell McShea takes the round two victory. It's been another superb day's competition hosted here by the Rally Sport Association at Shackleton. And to sum it all up, just how inspirational must it be for the juniors and clubmen alike be sharing the same stages with multiple champions of both national and international level. It really is a wonderful thing that the RSA has going here. And on that magic note, it's time to end another episode. So until next time, you know the drill, hold her flat.